The venue for the 1986 FIFA World Cup finals was cast into doubt following a terrible earthquake in Mexico City. The disaster threatened Mexico's chances of hosting the event for the second time in FIFA World Cup history. Despite the major setback, the finals took place in Mexico, and as in 1970, they would turn out to be memorable. It would see a host of world-class players on display, including French playmaker Michel Platini, England centre-forward Gary Lineker, West German captain Karl-Heinz Rummenigge, Brazil's midfield maestro Socrates, and the most talked about player in world football, Diego Maradona. At the peak of his career, he was destined to become a FIFA World Cup hero. Argentina started the tournament as they meant to go on, and this well placed shot from Maradona against Italy helped Argentina finish top of Group A, ahead of Italy, who finished second. The best of Maradona was yet to come. In the second round, he was in wonderful form against the tough tackling Uruguayans. Maradona created good chances for Pasculi and Valdano before Pasculi finally broke the bubble four minutes before half time. One goal was enough to see Argentina progress to the quarter finals. Having struggled to get past the first round following disappointing performances against Morocco and Portugal, England faced Paraguay in the second, knowing victory would earn them a place in the quarter finals against Argentina. England goalkeeper Peter Shilton took the captain's armband from Brian Robson after he was forced to pull out of the competition with a shoulder injury. Gary Lineker increased his goal tally in the tournament to four following his first half hat-trick against Poland with a goal after 31 minutes. England increased their lead 11 minutes into the second half. Butcher's shot was powered by Fernandez into the path of Beardsley and scored from close range. Lineker secured a comfortable victory for England with his second goal of the game. Final score, England 3, Paraguay 9. Having finished second in Group C behind winners of the Soviet Union, France progressed to the second round to play Italy. Their gifted captain, Michel Platini, floated the ball over Italian goalkeeper Galli to give him a first-half lead. Stopira increased France's lead in the second half from close range, following a good run from Tigana. There was no way back for Italy, as France won by two goals to nil. Lothar Matthäus secured a last-gasp victory for Germany with his long-range free kick in their second-round game against Morocco to take them through. Belgium also put their place in the quarter-final with an amazing 4-3 win against the Soviet Union. After an impressive 4-0 second-round win against Poland, Brazil went on to face European champions France in the quarter-final. Brazil took the lead after 17 minutes with a memorable goal. Pereca finished well following an impressive exchange of passes. France responded immediately and were rewarded with a goal four minutes before the break. Talisman Platini was on hand to score a deserved equaliser that came at a crucial time. The French supporters celebrated. With 17 minutes remaining, Zico was presented with the chance to restore Brazil's lead from the penalty spot after Branco was pulled down in the area by Bats. But Bats guessed the right way to deny Zico with a great save. Three minutes before the end of extra time, French substitute Bruno Bologna was fouled outside the penalty area by Brazilian goalkeeper Carlos. The French players' appeals for a foul were ignored by the Romanian referee, who waved play on. A penalty shootout would decide the outcome of the match. With the scores level at 3 all, Brazil's César missed his spot kick, giving France the opportunity to take the game.
French defender Luis Fernandez took the responsibility by placing the ball on the penalty spot. He made no mistake by converting the ball into the corner of the net. France had secured a place in the semi-finals of the FIFA World Cup for the second time in their history. Diego Maradona would make the headlines for the right and wrong reasons in Argentina's quarter-final match with England. The match was an eagerly awaited encounter between two giants of international football. Six minutes into the second half came one of the most controversial moments in FIFA World Cup history. Maradona gave Argentina the lead with what he later described as the hand of God. The incident left the England players living, and their manager Bobby Robson bemused as Maradona scored by punching the ball into the back of the net. Four minutes later, Maradona scored arguably the greatest goal in the history of the competition. He went past three English defenders before rounding short and facing the ball into the back of the net. It was the product of pure genius. Argentina's fans celebrated. To their credit, England responded well and reduced the deficit with nine minutes to go. Lineker scored his sixth goal of the tournament with a close-range header from substitute John Barnes left wing pass. England failed in their bid to force an equaliser and went out of the FIFA World Cup. Argentina defeated Belgium in the semi-final with Maradona once again the star of the show. He made the headlines again by scoring both goals in a 2-0 win. Argentina would enter the final as strong favourites to lift the trophy. France faced West Germany in a repeat of the 1982 World Cup semi-final. West Germany made a dream start after just nine minutes. Andreas Bremer's low shot was fumbled by Bax and the ball went over the line. Platini thought he'd equalise for France in the second half when he placed the ball past German goalkeeper Schumacher. However, to his despair, the goal was disallowed for offside. West Germany went on to win the game 2-0 with this goal from Rudi Voller in the last minute. It was the fifth time in their proud history that Germany had made the FIFA World Cup final. Over 114,000 people filled the Azteca Stadium for the final between Argentina and West Germany. The majority of them supporting Argentina. West Germany had a strong and resilient team, whilst Argentina possessed the most gifted player in the tournament, Diego Maradona. Argentina took the lead midway through the first half, when Brown had a put a charge of right wing free kick into the back of the net. Eleven minutes after half time, Argentina extended their lead. Jorge Valdano ran in from the right and slotted the ball past Schumacher in the German goal. West Germany's resolve will be tested to the full in their pursuit of a comeback. They pulled the ball back 16 minutes from time with a close range goal from Lumen. Eight minutes later, they secured their comeback with a headed goal from Rudy Voll. However, Argentina were not to be denied. Maradona's disappointment turned into delight just three minutes later. He threaded a pass through to Borrachaga, who raced clear of the German defence and shot the ball across Schumacher into the net. Argentina had secured a last gasp win to the obvious delight of their fans. Their captain had played a decisive and inspiring role in their ultimate success. This FIFA World Cup will be remembered from Argentinian here. Me, Diego Maradona.